Kate, do you have another speaker for me? Yeah, we've got Eric Gebhard. Hey, Eric, how you doing? Hi there, John. Hello, Kate. Doing well? Uh, Eric, go ahead and get your PowerPoint up. Where are you uh, broadcasting from today? I'm in my home office in beautiful Orange County, California, not uh, too far from where you were probably uh, born and raised, I'm imagining. Yeah, it, it used to be an hour on on the uh, on the red train, on the red car. Okay. An hour and 10 cents is what it cost in those days. Yeah, very good. Uh, Eric graduated from the University of Southern California with a BS in business administration. He co-founded AltaVest, uh, his brokerage firm in 1997, and has held various securities and futures licenses. AltaVest developed ThetaTrader, which uses proprietary algos to generate stock index option spreads and automatically manage risk and reward. Theta Trader offers a six-leg dragonfly option strategy, as well as one-touch responsive trade alerts, wherein clients simply touch, accept, or reject on their smart device. Mr. Gerbart enjoys spending time with his family on adventurous outings, as well as the vintage automobile hobby. He's a member of the Dean's Advisory Council for La Sierra University's Zapara School of Business, as well as an investment committee advisor. Uh, okay, um, Eric, you know the drill. Um, uh, you have until five minutes before the hour, and there we hand out our next batch of prizes. So I'm going to go ahead and mute myself, and you have the floor. Great. Thank you, John. All right, everyone. We've got a lot of material, so we'll get to it here. We're going to look at, look at automated options trading and we've built something very unique and a proprietary solution. I think you're going to enjoy a live demo. And we're also going to send out a, uh, we're going to show you how to respond to a, a live trade alert as well. So these algos create the option spreads. You can reply to those alerts in one touch. You don't have to babysit your screen. And there's automation on the trade exit, which is just as important, uh, whether that's for a uh, stop loss, so to speak, or managing your profits. And with that said, remember we are speculating and anytime there's opportunity for profit, there is risk. So do take a moment and look at that risk disclosure. Remember when trading, you should only be using risk capital when speculating and past performance is never a guarantee of future results. And just a little bit more here on us since 1997, we've been trading and uh, there's yours truly with some of our floor st uh, staff trading S&P 500 options. And of course it looks a lot different now because of all the Systematic trading and the algos, I heard, I peeked into John's presentations. He's, he's absolutely right. The majority of trading now is algo machine driven. But we've done this for many years now, trading uh, millions and millions of contracts along the way. We developed our Dragonfly strategy and our proprietary execution technology as well. We're going to show you that. And we're registered with the CFTC, members of the NFA, and we're located in California. And I, let's see here. Oh, I had a little delay on my screen. There it is. Okay. So I got licensed back in 1991 and I graduated from USC. So go Trojans. I did have some various securities licenses and mutual funds and so forth. I currently have my series three futures license as well as my series 65. Uh, that's for investment advisors. All right, we're going to jump into it. We're going to look at why it's difficult to compete with algos. It's because we're humans and we have emotions. Uh, JP Morgan here estimates 90% of U.S. equity trading volume is algo-driven or machine-driven or systematic trading or HFT, whatever you want to call it. But basically, it's not driven by people like us behind their screens using their uh, smartphone or their <laughs> desktop and their mouse. Uh, so can we use algos for professional types of option strategies and spreads we absolutely can and we're going to jump into that here we're going to look at how various institutions might want to trade options say for example an insurance company 
you know how they make money. They get paid premiums. You pay them a premium and they assume risk. And they're selling essentially time and uh, they insure themselves. They always hedge themselves with uh, reinsurance is what they call it. They're consistent and they're patient in their process. And they look at probabilities, essentially math. That's how they come up with the premiums that you pay. They look at all the numbers and they crunch everything. And in the long run, uh, they're going to make money if they're well managed. So statistics really inform them. And they're looking at odds. I thought that was kind of a humorous uh, photo there. So may the odds be ever in your favor. That's what we're going to try to do here with some of these option uh, strategies we're looking at. So how can we collect premium such as an insurance company does? We're going to look at some option strategies where you manage risk and reward, use experienced coaching along the way, having the correct automation and tools. And we'll look at some of these strategies where we can step up to the plate and look for some base hits and be more consistent, not necessarily uh, reach for the grand slam every time. Although that certainly is possible with some option strategies, we'll get into that. So these can be non-directional in nature, meaning you don't have to be uh, adamantly bullish or bearish. And these are targeted outcomes with a fixed amount of risk and reward. So before we jump in, let's learn some Greek. So we're going to look at probabilities, and the first would be delta. So when you talk about delta and options, it relates to how much does the option value change with the change in the underlying uh, index or the price of the asset, I should say. So it's also the approximate probability of that option expiring in the money. And so that's how option traders look at delta, and that's how we're going to look at it as well. So here's an example. If you're at 0.25 on the delta, that means there's a 25% chance that option would expire in the money. But conversely, a 75% chance it expires worthless. So how can we use that information to our advantage? We'll show you here. And remember, delta is always moving. It's not a static number. It's always fluctuating with prices and time. And it is not the probability of a winning trade. So that is important to remember as well. And here's the other letter we're going to look at, the Greek letter here, theta. It just represents um, time when you're referring to options. Remember, every option has limited lifespan, whether or not it's a, a leap, such as what John mentioned, can have a year or longer lifespan, or of course now the hot topic these days is zero days till expiration. And uh, we're in between those two durations. So we'll tell you where we are with our approach, but options are a decaying asset. They always expire. And that's referred to as uh, time as theta, a negative number. It equals one day of time decay. So if an option premium is 10 points, theta is negative 0.05. That means the next day the premium drops to 9.95, and the next day after that, 9.90, and so on and so forth, all things, other things remaining equal. So this is what it might look like on a graph. As you approach time zero, you'll see the percent of the premium remaining uh, declining just based on theta decay. So theta decay always increases as you get closer to expiration. So we're going to look at Wall Street professionals and how they trade options. They use option spreads. That means multi-legs to a strategy. And oftentimes they're collecting premium. So here's an example of selling an E-mini S&P 500 call spread. And I'll tell you why we look at the E-mini um, index uh, in just a bit. But just note that this strategy, if you sell an out-of-the-money call spread, uh, you're either bearish or moderately bullish or non-directional. So here's what it might look like on a graph. You can see the call spread here represented by the red line and the, the blue line. So you sell that red line and you receive four and a half points for doing so. And that's the 5640 call. But you simultaneously buy the 5660 call and you pay two and a quarter points. But the net result is you collect two and a quarter points or in this case, $112.50 and you put that in your pocket, of course, minus any commissions. And then you look for the market to do what it kind of did here. It goes lower, it goes higher, and then essentially time decay works in your favor and you close out that position. 
Here's another example of just the opposite or the inverse here using a put spread. You sell this out of the money put spread and you're looking for that market movement, even though it's dropped and kind of moved against you because you've sold this spread, it still doesn't matter um, because it's not really putting that spread at too much risk and you end up collecting that premium and probably keeping the premium or most of it. You can see the expiration date here by this vertical line. And then here's another example of something called an iron condor. And it is simply the combination of the put and the call spread, placing those spreads simultaneously. So that means as one order, you don't leg in. So you sell this out of the money call spread and simultaneously sell an out of the money put spread. So you collect money for selling the call spread and the put spread. And you can see the various strike prices here. And of course, this is just for illustration, but the strikes could be 10 points apart or 50 points apart or what have you. In this case, they're 20 points apart. And then here's what that might look like. So when you place this spread, the market was trading here. And then you can see as time goes on, it goes down, it goes up, goes down again, goes up, you know, and basically you get this a lot of a uh, choppy action. And then you see the expiration date here on that spread. And also we do typically exit any of our spreads before expiration. And I'll show you that in the demo. So here's what it looks like after theta decay takes its uh, toll. You get a signal here to buy back that spread. So you sell it, you collect the premium, and as time goes by, you buy it back here. And you'll see this red, this blue arrow pointing to this blue RTI. And I'll explain that in just a second. But that's the exit signal to take profits and go on to the next uh, position. And you can see here, you took profits at this point compared to where the expiration date is. So again, you wanna get out before expiration. So you always place this spread intending to buy it back for less than what you initially received for it. So that's the idea of a credit spread. And now here's the dragonfly spread. This is something that we originated with, uh, originated in a variation on the condor strategy. And it's probably better explained by looking at an illustration. So you'll notice the calls above the um, top of the graph here and the puts at the bottom of the graph. And your idea here is to collect premium uh, by selling an out of the money uh, call spread by uh, selling an out of the money put spread. And just to slow down a second, you can see you sell four of these calls. That's the red line, but you buy three further out of the money and then one closer to the money call and the same structure on the puts. And let's take a look here at what happens after theta decay works. So again, you see the market going down, going up, and then you get a signal here according to the blue RTI that says that's enough profit. Cover the position, meaning to buy it back and take your profit in this case and move on to the next great idea. So the idea just like it was with the uh, condor or the vertical call or put spread is you intend to buy it back for less money than what you initially received for it. So you sell high and hope to buy low later. So be sure to stick around in just a few minutes here. We're gonna look at a, uh, a trade alert and how we can respond to a trade alert using Theta Trader. You just simply accept those alerts and our technology handles the rest. So we'll show you that in just a second. And you don't have to be non-directional. You can be bullish, outright bullish or outright uh, bearish as well. Here's an example, something we call a bull hedge or a bear hedge strategy. Offers that asymmetric return. So it may gain in value uh, as the stock index increases if it's a bull hedge. And it's probably better just to look at the example. So in this case, here is the market trading when you place this particular position or this uh, spread. You can see you actually buy an out-of-the-money call spread and you sell an out-of-the-money put spread. And oftentimes the spread that you sell is enough to cover the cost of the spread that you're buying. So you can often do these for no cost, which is the great thing about these types of positions. But you know, of course, if the market moves higher, goes above your uh, 
strikes here in this example, that wouldn't that one trade would do very, very well just to illustrate. We'll show you in a, another example in the live demo. So really the question is how would you know what's uh, which spread to create and which market to apply it to? Are you buying the spread? Are you selling the spread? Uh, what particular strategy? And really, what is the entry timing or the correct price to enter a position? And probably more more importantly is how do you manage the risk and the profits? So we mentioned Theta Trader. So that is our solution. These are pre-built option strategies. The proprietary algo within Theta Trader creates what we call Theta Trades on a daily basis. They're one touch, uh, there's also one touch responsive trade alerts that are available. So any market condition, and then of course the automation with the RTI, that's called the risk thermal indicator. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into the demo. So let me switch screens. Okay, yep, I think we're good. So we are now looking at the dashboard for Theta Trader. And it's quite simple here. You can see here's an active trade alert that was submitted to this demo account. And we're gonna show you what that means and how it works. And then you can see all of the Theta trades here on this uh, table. There's a menu here, we're gonna dig into that. And you'll notice this section here, any open short spread positions or sold positions are right here with the associated RTI colors. Any open bot or long positions here. And you'll notice here to the right for the demo account, this is all of your account info that's pulled directly from your AltaVest trading account. So Theta Trader is our technology solution for trading options. So you'd have an account with AltaVest. And here's any current price quotes right there. So first thing we can do, we looked at um, the Condor and the Dragonfly. And you'll notice that there are bullish strategies, uh, bearish strategies, neutral or non-directional. And you'll notice here the ES, the NQ, and the RT. So these are the three markets that we focus on. That's the E-mini, S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, and Russell 2000. So those are the stock indexes that we're focused on. And primarily the reason for that is that's where the depth of volume and liquidity is. Um, so that that makes the uh, gives us the ability to trade these multi-leg option spreads uh, probably probably in a way that is not possible with 99% of the security symbols or stock tickers, for example. Um, and we'll show you that in just a second. You just don't have the granularity available in the deeper out of the money options um, that you do in the e-mini space. So we'll jump in and look at some condors for today. You can see there are anywhere from 16 days to 43 days till expiration on the condors for today's theta trades. And you'll notice all of the strikes are pre-selected for you. You can see here, this means your maximum profit potential at expiration per position. This is something called your targeted annualized return. And you'll notice that uh, the trade that has 16 days has a much higher number compared to the trade with 43 days. And that of course is simply to compare one trade to another, not to suggest if you did this uh, one trade, you could do it every 16 days for a year and end up with that result. So we just put that there to compare one trade to another. And of course, trades with the least amount of time will always have a higher uh, targeted annualized return. But for the sake of our demo and these demonstrations and webinars, I just randomly pick the Condor with the greatest amount of time. And it can vary, it can, it can sometimes be up to 70 days, sometimes be 40 days, and just depending on what the algorithm has pre-selected. And here's what this looks like on a graph. You see the current price, you can see this out of the money call spread that's being sold and put spread right here, gives you some uh, perspective. And you'll notice uh, 43 days till expiration, the expiration date, settlement value, the premium being collected, to put risk, call risk, commission, uh, cash required here, profit potential. This is your targeted return on cash. And then again, your targeted annualized return. And let's look at the deltas really quickly. 
you're selling this 5170 put as a delta of 9.86%. So you're looking at over a 90% probability that this option that you're selling to someone else will expire out of the money. Now look at the calls that are being sold here, 6.79%. So again, that's over a 93% probability that this call that you're selling to someone else is going to expire out of the money. So the algorithm liked the structure of this position, the days till expiration, the value that it was able to capture. You can see here, it always defaults to a sell because we're selling in the condor and the quantity always defaults to one. If you change it, you can see the cash required, profit potential moving up and down. We'll go ahead and do five of these, leave the uh, pricing alone, and we'll submit that order. You can change the strike prices if you wanted, just to point that out. And all of the numbers, uh, data, the pricing, uh, percentages, I should say, and the dollar figures, everything is all uh, net of commissions as well. So you don't need to take that into consideration. Theta Trader does that for you. And there's what it looks like after you place an order and it gets filled, just assumes you're filled in the demo account. So that's how easy it is, folks, to place a four-legged option strategy. And let me show you how the Dragonfly works. And then we'll show you some uh, back-tested examples. And then we'll look at that trade alert as well. So we looked at the condor, how about a dragonfly? And here, again, anywhere from 33 to 72 days till expiration, you can see the dragonfly has some different expirations available. And you can see the strike prices are all pre-selected for you. And it gives you here all of the data in terms of your maximum profit potential. And then, of course, your, your targeted annualized return. And we'll go ahead and choose this one here. And one thing you might notice is your targeted annualized return compared to a condor is always going to be a little bit less. And that's simply because, let me scroll down. Let's look at this graph and I'll show you. Illustrate it better, I think, visually. The dragonfly has a lower profit potential because you pay money to buy this extra call option here and this extra put option. So that's extra insurance on the position. And what that does is it helps to mitigate some risk um, and also can change the dynamics and the risk reward characteristics uh, of the trade compared to a condor quite a bit. So there are times when a condor will end up taking a loss and a dragonfly will not. And there are times when a dragonfly will give an ex exit signal to take profit much, much earlier compared to a condor. So that's the advantage. It's a little more risk averse, let's say, compared to a, excuse me, a condor. Again, you have the same data to look at and you notice you're selling in increments of four puts and four calls. And you can see here the puts being sold and the calls being sold. And again, the deltas um, are below 10. So you've got 9.7, 6.4. So you're talking over you know, 90% and 93% probability that these puts and calls being sold are going to expire out of the money. And you can see the cash required on a Condor is about $4,600 compared to, I'm sorry, to, uh, <laughs> this is a Dragonfly. So the cash required is about just over $4,600 in this example. So generally speaking, it's about $5,000 uh, for a Dragonfly and a condor is about $1,000 per spread. I should have made that more clear um, in the condor example, but you can see here your profit potential per the dragonfly, targeted return on cash, and your targeted annualized return here. It always defaults to a sell because you're selling the spread and collecting the premium. And maybe you wanna do three of these and you'll go ahead and you'll place that trade just like that and just that simple. So what I'm going to do now, and let's look here, you can see there's something called the simulator. And we can go backwards in time, a bit of a time machine here, and I've loaded up some trades. And I want to kind of do a compare and contrast with a uh, condor and dragonfly. So here is a position, a condor from July 25 of this year. And this is before the... Uh, the data comes out. We're going to play the data. You can use these buttons here to go forward in time 
or backward in time or go all the way to the end at once. But just for our illustration here, we'll go step by step. And then let me show you what's happening here. You can see as day each day goes by, you have a RTI color-coded signal here. And that's telling you basically what is the health of that trade. And green means good, do nothing. Yellow means elevated risk, but still do nothing. So this is all perfectly normal and there's nothing to do here. Keep watching the trade. You can see RTI is all green. The P&L in the trade is now uh, green and profitable. And theta decay is starting to work. Uh, so time is starting to erode. And you can see here, then you get a profit taking signal. That's what blue means. And this is important and I'll show you in just a moment, but when you get a blue RTI, you don't have to monitor your position. You can set it up here so that Theta Trader will scan your account. And when you get a blue RTI, it will automatically place an order for you to close out that position. So the, the, the algo says there's enough profit on that trade. It's time to close out that position and move on to the next uh, trade. And you can automatically do this. Um, and automate that process. So this is with 16 days till till uh, expiration, you have a profit taking signal on that condor. And that's for the week three September expiration. So here is the week three September expiration. Instead of a condor, we're doing a dragonfly. And we'll run through that example. So again, the RTI giving you the green signal, do nothing. Everything's good. And then look at this. On August 29, with 23 days till expiration, you get a blue profit taking signal. So you were able to close out this trade about, what is that, about a week earlier compared to the Condor? I'm losing track of my math here. So that was August 29 versus uh, September 5. Yeah. So you were able to move your money out of that position, take your profits about a week earlier compared to the condor. So that's one of the examples I mentioned in terms of the benefit of a dragonfly versus a condor. Uh, you can oftentimes have a, a dragonfly mature more rapidly compared to a condor. Here's another example. We'll look at this condor here. Kind of forget what actually happens in these examples, but you can see the green RTI do nothing. And then it starts to get negative. The PL is turning negative, but still the RTI is green. Now it's getting yellow. This one may not work out. I don't recall exactly, but that's good. I want to always put something in here to show you that we're not just cherry picking winners. <laughs> okay, yeah. So this ends up being a losing trade here. And that was the uh, week two, July 4 expiration. And that was the Condor on the E-mini S&P 500. So remember the week two July. So here's the week two July Dragonfly. So this is the same uh, expiration on the same day you place a Dragonfly instead of a Condor, what would happen? So all is good. You can notice sometimes the trade goes negative, but the RTI still says do nothing. And that's pretty common because you really need theta decay to uh, do some work for you, which is happening now, as you can tell. And look at that. You get a profit taking signal with 15 days till expiration. So you compare that to the Condor in this particular case with 15 days till expiration. You can look here. You can see the trade was profitable, but you still didn't have a profit taking signal. So that's why we really like the dragonflies a lot. Not to say we don't do condors, but the dragonflies can be more risk averse, they can be more robust, and they can keep you in a position um, where you don't end up taking a loss compared to a condor. All right, now let me look at, we talked about some of these other strategies um, briefly in the slide presentation where you can be bullish or bearish. There's something called, um, there's a lot of any of these typical strategies. You can just buy call spreads or, or you can buy put spreads or what have you. 
Uh, there's something though that we mentioned briefly called the bull hedge and the bear hedge. But if you're bullish, you can do something like this. We'll just pick this one randomly. And essentially you buy an out of the money call spread and to pay for it, you sell an out of the money put spread. And oftentimes you can do that for even money. So here's what that looks like. You're buying this spread here and you're selling this spread right here. If the market keeps uh, rallying, then this position to, should do very well. We'll go ahead and just you know, jump in with say three of these or four of these, just a demo, just to show you how this all works. So here's a simulator I put together on a bull hedge to give you an idea. Yeah, and of course, here's, yeah, this is one where the trade works out. It's quite profitable. Um, you had to pay basically $10 to uh, enter that trade. Um, and then by the time you exited here with the market settling, uh, where it did, then you have a max gain on that position. So just to point out that you don't have to be non-directional. You know, Theta Trader is very flexible and you can be bullish or bearish with some of these strategies. Um, oh yeah, here's a bear hedge. So we'll see how that goes. You can jump right to the end of these two, but just for illustration, it's kind of fun to do this. So here's an example of a bear hedge so you place this uh trade you know you <clears throat> you sold this out of the money call spread and you bought this out of the money put spread and the market's trading here and then you can see as time goes by the market was moving the wrong way but uh it didn't really mean a whole lot you end up losing i guess 46 dollars on that position so that's kind of the advantage to some of these trades where even if the market moves the wrong way um, it's not going to hurt you so much. The market just has to make a big move against you very quickly. Um, and then, of course, you'd have to think about um, how to cover that risk. And that's what the RTI is all about as well. So I want to point out, too, to help with your trading decisions, we have something called TradeScope. That's our daily proprietary research. It's available here within the uh, ThetaTrader site. So we're looking at the technicals on the indexes. And then we're looking forward to um, perhaps what what might be on the radar with some of the uh, global macro data and so forth. We also have our daily commentary, and you'll see current price quotes. You'll notice the summary here: what happened in Asia and Europe, uh, and in the U.S. Is that just my screen or your screen? Kind of blurry. But anyway, you get the idea. And then uh, looking ahead as well. And then here's an economic calendar. So people really like looking at that. It's just short. And the synopsis there is very concise. And here's the magic here. Here's how to automate the RTI so that you don't have to monitor everything. You go up here. You go to the account settings, which is where I am. And you'll check this box here that says activate risk manager. And then you'll check this here that says activate profit directive. And that's all you have to do. Now, I want to point out as well that you can modify the risk manager. So you can be more or less aggressive with your, let's call it your stop loss or your risk management. And the default setting here is already pre-selected for the RTI. But if you would like to get a little more aggressive and that's perfectly perfectly acceptable, you can use an orange risk level. So you can see that here. Just remember, if you do so, you're going to end up probably taking fewer uh, a fewer number of losses, but the losses will be greater. And then if you use a custom level, you can do that too. You can go all the way down to 2.5, I think 0.25. And if you went that far down again, that's fine. It's really personal preference, but you'll end up in that case probably taking uh, a greater number of losses, but the the uh, dollar losses themselves will be smaller. So I just used the default setting here for the demo account. 
then you would always want to save those settings. You want to save that. So this is really where the magic is right there. There's also a great help file and a great glossary here to help you review some of the uh, terms and the spread definitions and also the color coding is all explained here and all the different strategies are explained as well. And if you want even more on that, you'll go right here. And these are all videos here under the education here. So if you need any assistance or any review, it's all here embedded in Theta Trader. So this is a great uh, resource for any trader to have at their fingertips. And we'll go back to the dashboard and let me show you a couple other things and I'll jump back into the uh, presentation, the slides. But this is really kind of the meat and potatoes or the nut and bolts of what we wanted to talk about was the actual software demonstration. But you can also look at your closed positions on one page. I'll show you how to do that here. You can filter based on any criteria, but we're just looking here at the default setting and it shows you 20 positions here on one screen. Let me make this a little bigger so you can see it. Well, you missed some of the uh, columns here, but that's okay. But you'll see out of uh, 20 trades, there's 15 winners, five losers. Here's your total profit and loss. And this is just, again, my demo account that I use for webinars. Uh, so I wouldn't make too much uh, of the of the uh, performance one way or another. But this does make sense. Out of these 20 positions, 17 were short option spreads where we sold premium and collected premium. So there were 13 winners and four losers. And that sort of connects with what we talked about, sort of those higher probability outcomes. And then we bought three positions here, two winners and one loser. And if you wanted to go back in time and, for example, look at this dragonfly, you just click on it and then you scroll down and you can see here, this is what that trade looks like. It was completed. You can see the date. Uh, July 30, when it was placed, it had 53 day, days till expiration. But you'll notice here, it was uh, negative for quite a while. But yet the RTI was yellow, was not alarmed at all. And then it, uh, and you can see why it was negative for a while, because it immediately, you know, market immediately dropped. And that's the nice thing about these, these non-directional strategies. They can have a wide margin of error. So you have this call spread here, this put spread here, and then this wide margin of error in between. So there's some great advantages to trading these non-directional strategies. And we'll go back and I'll show you the trade alert. So when a trade alert is sent to your account, it's going to be custom and tailored for you and your account only. So you won't receive trade alerts uh, if you already have, let's say, the same type of trade in your open positions, whether it's the same strikes or uh, the same expiration date. And you'll see it pop up here on your dashboard. You'll also see it show up on your um, text alert and you'll see it um, a link for that. And I'll show you in just a second, but here's, here's how it works. And if anyone has any questions, uh, go ahead and put them in the chat box. I can't quite address them right away, but we'll see if we get to them. So here's how your trade alerts will appear. You'll get a graph, you'll get a little short description of it. This has 43 days till expiration and it's on the uh, E-mini Russell 2000 index. Here is the call side of the trade, the put side of the trade. You could also adjust the quantity if you'd like. It's all pre-selected for you based on your account balance and uh, basically how much risk uh, is is involved with each particular trade. You're not going to, you know, receive a trade alert that's going to put a 100% um, of your account in any one trade. So all these trades are done incrementally. Position sizing is very important, but you can modify the quantity if you'd like. You can go down. We'll go down from 16 to 10 just for kicks. And all you have to do is either accept it or reject it. So we'll go ahead and just accept that. And there it is. You can see the 10 Dragonflies uh, trades right there on the Russell showing up under today's orders. And if there's anything else, let me 
Let me try to review one other thing here before I switch screens. Uh, just to point out to you, see open uh, short positions here on the home page, but you can also look at those on one screen of their own if you would like. But a lot of times people just use the dashboard. They don't really have to drill any deeper than that. We purposely made it very user-friendly and convenient. But if you'd wanted to see all of your open positions on one page here, you could. You can see, again, if you want to look at any one of them, you know, here's this iron condor trade. You can kind of go backwards in time and take a look at what that position looked like when you first placed it. Oh, let me scroll down. There you go. So, and you can see it's been negative. But again, that's pretty common. Anytime you sell premium, it takes a while for that theta decay to work. Um, of course, unless you're selling like a zero DTE <laughs> uh, option, which I wouldn't recommend. All right. So that's a good overview of the Theta Trader dashboard and so forth. And uh, now, now I want to show you what I think is probably the best feature of all. Let me switch screens. It's just sort of a continu continuation of the trade alert that we looked at. So these are the trade alerts and how it might look like, uh, look or work and look like on your, your smart device or your phone. So one touch responsive, you just touch your screen, accept or reject. And again, these alerts are, are live, meaning they're integrated with your AltaVest trading account. So all you simply have to do is touch accept uh, or reject, but you touch accept to place that order. Here's a little uh, video. It's a, uh, I need to get a new one, but um, anyhow, it all, it all looks the same way and works the same way with a few additional features since, but you see the link you'll receive um, on your text message. You just touch that link. It takes you directly to the alert page. And again, you get that description, you get a graph, so you get all the information you need visually and otherwise to contextualize what you're doing. The quantity, again, is pre-selected for you. You can see the premium you're collecting, the cash required here. And then you'll notice days till expiration, targeted annualized return. And then if you like what you see, you just touch accept. And that's it, the order's placed. And of course, that's just a demo, so there's nothing there. But we'll show you that again. So I've never seen any other trade alerts like this. And if anyone knows of it, I'm kind of curious if something like this exists elsewhere. But people absolutely love these trade alerts. Makes it user-friendly, and you don't have to be uh, tied to your screen and screen watching and babysitting. So with that said, here's how you can get involved with Theta Trader, become a member. You'll receive all of the software we just talked about that includes the Theta Trades, including all the risk thermal indicator, the automation, the trade simulator. You saw how that works and people love using that to go backwards in time valued at over $3,500. Then you have the trade alerts that we just saw. And those are live. They're integrated with your account. You receive a trade alert. And if you're on your dashboard, you can accept it or you just receive it on your, your smartphone. And it's just that simple. You touch accept or reject, and that's all you have to do. And once the trade is filled, then of course, look at number four. You can have the RTI automatically manage your trades for you when it turns either blue or red, whichever, whichever comes first. So you'll receive everything in that Theta Trader membership, including private coaching. I think this is really the, I guess, the icing on the cake. We're all licensed, experienced. You'll receive coaching with one hour screen sharing sessions or whatever you'd like. Some people just want 15 minutes. Some people want a couple sessions, whatever it takes. So you have a co-pilot to discuss your trading strategies, review your trade history. Uh, really, $7,500 plus value. I think that's understating the value there to have a mentor and a coach at your side. 
So you receive everything, the software, which includes the alerts and the private coaching valued at over $15,000. And then I know this is kind of corny, but uh, reminds me of those ads, you know, the infomercial, the, but there's more. Uh, remember, you do get the proprietary research and that's available only to our Theta Trader users. $2,900 uh, $2, value with those video tutorials as well. That's all part of Theta Trader. So just to summarize what you receive, you receive absolutely everything we've reviewed today, valued at over $18,500. And of course, that's not what we're going to charge you. And this is how much we would sell Theta Trader memberships for in live in-person events and seminars. And of course, you know that's not going to be the case. We have the mad price of only $597, but what we're going to do here for this event, we're going to do our lowest mad price ever. And we're going to drop that for the first 12 that sign up. And we do limit it because we are real people and we do spend time with you and we do onboard you. So that is why you want to jump on this. $497. So cf.altavest.com forward slash mad. And I think they'll probably put that in the uh, that link in the chat box. And that's just a one page simple form there. And then you click that. And here's really the best part of all. You have no risk on that membership. You have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you decide to change your mind for whatever reason, we'll rebate that membership fee. And this is even probably a better idea for most people. They really love this. They'll say, oh, okay, I, uh, I have a $60,000 account. I'd love to work with you. Absolutely. And you know what else? You get a 50% 50, uh, 50 rebate as well. So re rebate that membership fee, 50% of it. You have a $100,000 account or more. Uh, you can join for free. Basically, you sign up and then we just rebate that amount to you. But you do have to sign up. That's what kind of starts the whole onboarding process. Now, a few FAQs. Tax efficient. I bet you didn't know. Futures and uh, futures options are tax efficient. And what that means is compared to trading uh, basically options, you can have a big tax savings. So be because 60% of the gains are taxed at the lower capital gains rate. So you have that 60, 40 tax treatment. I won't go into all the math, but it's a big difference folks. Uh, and here's this guy here. I had to laugh at this picture. Uh, but one, another advantage here is no more itemizing each trade. Uh, you just get a 1099 with your P and L big advantage there. So always consult your tax advisor and expert. And IRA, absolutely. Contact us for details. We have the IRA uh, accounts. Uh, I guess that's redundant, IRA accounts. But um, those are transferred in all the time, every week. And now we mentioned liquidity on the E-mini S&P 500 and the E-mini family. They're liquid. They're efficient. They're cost effective. There's a large market share. Densely packed strikes, 100 annual expirations, ensure granularity and coverage. Uh, CME Group says you have superior execution compared to SPX options. Cost savings of $4 to $15 per contract. So you get those tight bid offer spreads. So you have deep liquidity and a wide array of maturities. And this little diagram here explains what we're talking about. So when the algorithm in ThetaTrader needs strike prices to build a spread, it needs liquid and deep markets that have those strike prices available. So that's what it's going to find. So you can see here's some calls and some puts, and then some time goes by. It finds the calls and puts that it needs for its next trade, and so on and so forth. So it's very important that we're in the right market, and we are. So here's another big advantage with ThetaTrader. On the six-legged dragonfly I talked about and we showed you, you can't do a six-legged dragonfly in any other platform that I'm aware of. And I have access to a lot of them. <laughs> there may be something out there now, but if you're trying to do, uh, when I talk about the other platform, I mean in trading stock options. So if you're doing an e-mini dragonfly, that's one order as one trade at one price. You don't have to leg in and break it up into two separate orders. Um so that's a big, big advantage. There's no legging in. You place the order as one trade and you get out as one trade. So with Theta Trader, you have immediate access to these sophisticated strategies compared to the retail stock options trader. Uh, she here, I'll show you her, uh, her link here in just a second. She says, retail investors 
only have access to the most basic call and put options. They don't have access to option spread or other more sophisticated strategies. I, I think what she's saying is when you start off, I mean, you can get the level three and all that thing like that. But and remember, professionals are not just buying options. You know, buying options has a place, but if you rely on just buying options, uh, that's really how rookies trade because theta is working against you. And this is actually a great little um, piece on YouTube if you want to look it up. But she's absolutely right. She says, retail investors buy options because they're much cheaper, but potential for profit is not that high. 2021, 11% of Robinhood active users made options trades, but of that, fewer than 1% actually made multi-leg options trades. So very interesting. Another advantage to doing Theta Trader and trading the E-minis, you can just track one or two markets, not thousands. You have efficient margin. And then there's a clear cost structure. There's nothing hidden. Everything is transparent because everything trades through the Globex exchange at the CME group. That's a, their electronic exchange. So orders have all equal treatment. There's none of this um, payment for order flow and quote free trading nonsense, you know, commission-free at Robinhood, but it turns out that their orders are executed at inferior prices. So there's none of that when you're trading with us. Um, our rates are five and a quarter round turn all in. And you'll see here's a big box brokerage firm. I copied this right off their website. They say they're at two and a quarter, but that's per side. And then they add exchange and clearing fees on top of it. So it ends up being higher. So our rates are competitive. And everyone has different performance with Theta Trader because it is self-directed. You place your own trades or decide to accept or reject, or some people modify trades any way they like or what have you. You can you can also place any trade you want, Theta Trader. I didn't show you, but there's something called the Trade Builder. Uh, and also, all calculations are net of all trading cost. What size of account? We recommend 50,000, but there is a bare minimum of 10,000. You saw how Dragonflies require about a $5,000 margin. And a condor is about 1,000. So you can see why we recommend 50,000. You can do any kind of trading account, just your type of thing um, any brokerage firm offers. And then, you know, why would you really even consider Theta Trader? Well, it is an alternative, and alternatives can improve diversification and lower portfolio risk. And we talk about risk. Well, how about risk of inflation? This is kind of sad, but true. Uh, $80,000 in the 90s, you have to make $246,000 now. And here's the dream house when you were a kid, the million dollar dream house. And here's what your million dollars uh, buy is today. <laughs> and of course, you can have stagflation, uh, no economic growth, yet inflation remains sticky high. This is interesting here. Here is the CPI from back in 27, uh, 1970 to 1979. You see the red line? Looks like we're kind of following a similar path, you know, with, with the Fed lowering by 50 points. Um, I don't know. I think I don't think inflation is going away. Um, anyway, so that's this poor guy is trying to swim away from the inflation shark, um, keep his head above water. You know, average hourly learnings are down when you adjust for inflation. You can see here they're still down because inflation is so high. You have that 50 point cut. And I don't know, I think it's going to fuel inflation. And that's not always positive for the economy and stocks, at least not right away. Um, maybe this year is different because it's an election year. But in 2001, the S&P fell almost 40% in the next 400 some days after a 50 point cut. And in 2007, and that, that's a little bit of a different scenario because we're obviously in the midst of a, the beginnings of a global financial crash. But nonetheless, uh, you can see the S&P fell 54% in the next year. But, uh, you know, these rate cuts are not always uh, positive, folks, at least not right away. You can see all the times here you have a rate cut, a rate cut, a rate cut, and all the drawdowns. And the reason why is because usually uh, the rate cuts become uh, come into play because uh, they're trying to avoid a recession. So anyhow, you see record, record credit card debt at record highs, savings at record lows, uh, job cuts highest since 2009. You know, technology job cuts are on the rise. And there's a lot of consolidation going on. Maybe that's just a lot of cost cutting and that, that might be positive ultimately. Well, it will be positive ultimately. Uh, three month uh, unemployment rate average, you got that uh, ticking above that, what they call the SOM rule, although she 
uh, says it probably doesn't apply this time, and maybe it doesn't. You know, what's that phrase? This time is different. But this is uh, today, the leading economic uh, indicator index falling for the sixth straight month. And that's after falling for like 20 some consecutive months, um, signaling slower growth ahead. That's from the conference board, close to recessionary levels. You can see here, you can see every time it, it dips and the gray bar is recession, the recession signal and the gray bar and the gray bar. And then we're, you know, we're really flirting with that right now. A little bit zoomed in there. And then the yield curve, I did peek into John's presentation. Uh, he looked at the yield curve a bit as well and the inversion. So it's not the inverted yield curve that's a problem. It's when it de-inverts, uh, and that's what's happening now. And in the past, uh, the inverted yield curve, and as it de-inverts, uh, that's kind of led up to the past seven recessions. I don't know if that'll happen this time, but certainly something to keep on your radar. And even then, it may not be deep, may not be long. But just to review Theta Trader, you have strategies for any market condition. We're not day trading or stock picking. You know, this kind of made me laugh, but <laughs> we're not doing that. Wide margin of error. And I'll wrap it up here. I've just got another minute or two. You don't want to spend 10 to 12 hours a day in front of your screen. Um, there are periods of time where stocks, you know, do go sideways if you buy at the worst possible time. So Theta Trader gives you that flexibility to be bullish or bearish or non-directional. And then you can look up her uh, particular presentation on your own. But again, Theta Trader membership, we got that special mad price, $497. You'll just complete that order form. We'll get you started. And hopefully Theta Trader can help control your emotions with these algo-driven spreads. Simulator, you got that time machine, those one-touch trade alerts. This is what it looks like when you receive it via email as well. And then on your dashboard and then with your text messaging and then you just touch accept. So that is it. And let's see if I have any questions. Do I have any other time here, guys, or should I wrap it up? Uh, you know, a speaker of your quality, you have all the time you want. <laughs> that I must mean there's nobody after me. <laughs> I'll just look, I'll just see if there's anything here I need to respond to right away. Um, Yeah, Theta Trader is our technology. So you have an account with AltaVest. Good question. And that's our offer. And yes, you have a uh, brokerage account with us. And so you would deposit money into your AltaVest brokerage account. And yes, the offer will be valid later tonight. We're not going to cut you off. <laughs> and... Let's see. Yeah, I don't have time to go into. What you can do is you can use, once you sign up and become a member, you can use Theta Trader in demo mode and, and do all the back testing you would like. That's the best thing to do. And it's a lifetime membership. Good question. Not one year, lifetime. Okay. I think we're good, guys. I'll wrap it up. Thanks for joining me and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Okay, Eric. Great as always. I see you have a lot of interest in the chat box and uh, uh, to take advantage of Eric's offer, the uh, link is in the chat box on the right, altavest.com, click on that. That'll take you to the dedicated sales page, uh, only available today. And for people who came in late or missed it completely, the replays for the entire web uh, summit go out next week.